Hey guys, this is Pierce, creator of Orders of Terra, and today I have probably the most exciting video that I've ever, ever brought to you in the history of all the Orders of Terra videos. Because today, we have a box from the Game Crafter. This contains probably the most important shipment that I've ever received from the Game Crafter. Just stalling a bit for time while I figure out how to get this box open. And boom, oh, I just saw the first peek. We're gonna dump this out. And here they are. This is it, guys. It is coming out a bit dark uh, on the, the video, but I'm sure you can see how amazing these boxes look. Three boxes of Orders of Terror World Fading. There have been a lot of blood, sweat, and tears that have gone into this set. The shrink wrap look abs looks absolutely superb. I'm at a loss for words, so this one, or one of these, I don't know, this one's getting shipped off straight away to an amazing pre-order. You can see, the artwork looks a lot better when it's out of the packaging. The art wraps around to the front of the box. It's really hard to pick up on the camera, but you can see that the art wraps around to the front of the box. Oh my goodness. We have the first few packs of Orders of Terra World Fading. Now if that doesn't look awesome, I don't know what does. So for the <laughs> we're just gonna go ahead right away. And there, these are 20 packs of Orders of Terra World Fading. And let's just go ahead and get these other two boxes out of the way and open, open our first pack. <sighs> Which pack should I do? This pack, this box's packs are all kind of sealed weird. The boxes actually seem smaller because it seems like they've squished too many packs in here. This seems about where a normal box would be, but this is where our box is. Anyway, I'm gonna open the first pack. Um, let's actually go for this one. All right, now we're gonna use the power of editing to uh, skip ahead in the video to where I've got the pack opened. All right, so luckily, I've seen that this is the side that uh, the cards are on. I mean, that the back is on. I did not see any of the card artworks yet. The artwork is what I'm most excited for out of this set. Uh, just look at all these amazing... I don't know which angle is the... Oh, I just saw the first card. It's amazing. But I, <laughs> I've, we can see... Uh, I don't know if you can get a great view, and there's a bit of stuff coming off of this pack. Yeah, they could have definitely produced these a bit better uh, as far as the... The lip at the top of the pack is concerned, but I'm not sure what the best angle to get these on the recording is, but I think this this is pretty... I'm just waving it all around as much as I can here. So this is our first pack that we've opened. Let's go ahead and uh, open it up. All right, so we've got... This, this pack is also misprinted, so the, the cards are still skewed the game crafter is not up to their quality but we have so if you see on the new cards I'm gotta take a look at it from above sorry I gotta fix some of the camera issues so if you see on the new cards we actually have the uh, artists name at the bottom and then the set number so this is card number 19 and set 2 world fading and you can just see that immediately these cards are amazing fire conjuring so we have runic ice Goliath, fire conjuring highland golemancer Amazing. Stygian Shadow Weaver. Now this one printed really dark. Some of the darker cards probably won't come out as well as the lighter cards. Spiteful Warlock. Burning Strix. And our first rare, we got Land Pull Shaman. Now I want to explain to you before we go any farther. This is our first rare. I'll pop up an Auric Rare on the screen. Actually, I'll pop up a, a Void Rare and then it's Auric Rare counterpart. So what Auric Rares are, there are 76 commons in the set. Uh, 20 rares and 4 void rares, you get 16 commons in, a, in, a, uh, in an 18 card pack, and you also get 2 rares, and one of those rares have a, has a 1 in 6 chance to be a void rare instead, and a void rare is uh, the pretty much the rarest rarity that any specific card is going to come in. Then you have auric rares. So auric rares are 1 in every 13 packs, so that's really really hard to pull. The good thing is that no card is printed just as an auric rare. Auric rares are rarity upgrades from other void rares and rares in the set, and there are four auric rares just like there are four void rares. So we took three of the void rares and one of the rares from this set, and we upgraded them 
to an orc rare rarity, and now you have a chance to pull those. One of them is the card World Fading, and it's the uh, pack art for this box. But anyway, we, we have a chance of pulling one of those. Very, very low chance. You only get about one per box. I'm going to close this knife because I uh, don't want to hurt anyone. But you only get about one per box. So <laughs> let's just, here's hoping that we're going to get one. Land Pulse Shaman, Ethereal Invoker. Just take a look at these arts. I'm not sure how well it's coming out on camera, but it the arts on this this pack are amazing. Ethereal Invoker, Soren, Fiendtor General. So I gotta take a bit to look at them. <laughs> uh, Innovative Caster, Ember Crusader, Counterattack, uh, and another Land Pulse Shaman. So that was our rare. Those were our rares. So. I want to talk a bit after this pack is done. I just want to let you guys enjoy all of the amazing, <laughs> amazing arts and cards. Okay, so that's our last one, MLA Armaments. So that is our pack. Um, I'll just do another quick run through. Um, and here's our, here are our two rares. So both of our rares are Land Pulse Shamans. Um, and uh, I'll put this nice full art to the top right here. So both of our rares were land pulse shamans. So the reason that this happened is because on the game crafter, sadly, you do have a small chance to get two of the same rares, just because of the way that the rarity system on the game crafter works. Um, but you, they don't have a rarity system basically. So you ha you have to kind of manipulate the file uploads in a kind of weird way to get rarities to work. So like you saw, you do have a small chance. To get two of the same uh, rarity, so we got two land pool shamans. And just because I love this set so much, I'm gonna splurge a lot. I'm going to open another pack. We're gonna open this pack down here. All right, we're gonna open two packs. Ooh, this never been done in a video before. Two whole packs. And sadly, the the lips of these packs are really small, so you can't really get the nice, clean pack openings for them like you can in other packs, although it won't stop me from trying, but it did stop me from accomplishing it, but let's try from the bottom this time. Oh, we, we saw plus zero. No one can see what it actually is, though. We know it's not a full art, but I did just rip into the amazing pack artwork. But anyway, let's open it from the, the bottom now, and uh, absolutely destroying these packs. Oh, So let's go out to uh, our second pack. Got a nice uh, thick stack of 18 cards. We got Contrast Arbiter. Another, actually, just move this out of the way. Let's lay out our commons up here, and then we'll do rares and void rares over here. Uh, so, here, let's rearrange. We got Contrast Arbiter, Runic Ice Goliath, another Ethereal Invoker, Rift Flasher Mage. That's a new one. So, uh, again, I just want to point you to these art artists' names at the bottom of these cards because without these other artists that's hel that have helped me produce this set, it, it would have just been an absolute nightmare, like straight up impossible. This pack is a bit better centered, but you can pretty much see that all the cards are have pretty much the same centering on all the cards if you just look through a pack. They have pretty much the same centering, so if you start off a pack and you get one bad card out of it, that means the entire <laughs> batch is going to be badly centered. Um, but luckily, we have card sleeves, so we don't have to deal with that as much. And uh, let's keep going. Imperative Revolutionary, Meticulous Archaeologist. And we got a rare. This one was a really exciting one for me. Um, it's actually uh, it's exciting for me to pull this because my uh, one of my artists, Ansley, actually rated this as the best card that I've drawn. Now, that's not my personal opinion, but I do think it's a very cool card, Visum Nexus. And if you read on the World Anvil, uh, you can actually... I'm not sure if I put Nexuses up there yet, but I'm sure you'll be able to find the word Nexus referenced to a one or two times there. So now we have Gift of Foresight, and if you kind of look really closely, you can see that inside of the kind of... Uh, what's it called? Portal of Foresight, you can actually see the pack art for world fading because this is the world fading and this is someone foreseeing that the world is fading Th this has a lot of amazing lore behind it cursed enzyme detainment now i just want to take a minute as well to say that 
most other card games like Yu-Gi-Oh! or Magic the Gathering or uh, Pokemon, they have set pack orders. Like, you know when your rares are going to be, you know when your your mythic rares are going to be, you know when your ultra rares are going to be, and when your secret rares are going to be. But for for these and Yu-Gi-Oh! I mean, in uh, Orders of Terror, you don't know when you're going to get your rares and... and, and uh, other other rares, void rares, orc rares, in pest horror, mist channel stone, Soraya Nexus Keeper as our other rare, another Dark Seer's Compass, Emil, uh, Infusion Armaments, Gravity Pitfall, Earthen Warden, and Mist Form. So I don't think we pulled Illusory Warper yet, but Mist Form, this is actually a an art that I did by taking another art from uh, one of Ansley's cards and and kind of morphing it. So it was kind of a collab, collab art, collaboration, even though she had no idea that I was doing it. But anyway, these are our two packs from uh, <laughs> from Orders of Terra set two, World Fading, and I'm just absolutely ecstatic that I have three whole boxes of this in now, but I'm going to have to ship one of them off immediately to my cousin, but now we have three whole boxes, and again, I would have liked these to print a bit lighter, because you can't see the pack art extremely well on these, but I, I'm just, I'm just, ha I'm happy with this. The, the pack art is all right. The, the, the box art looks black if you don't look at it from the right angle. That's our opening of, of Orders of Terra set to Dawn and Dusk. Terra set to Dawn and Dusk. Terra set to Dawn and Dusk. And it should be available for purchase on the Game Crafter. Check out all the other videos we got on the channel. They're uh, really great, especially the speed arts. The speed arts that we've been putting out for the last few weeks are absolutely amazing. It's been a while since I did an unboxing video for you guys. But anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.